As you may recall from video 8.3a, parallel lines have the same slope, but perpendicular lines have the opposite reciprocal slopes. Once we know the slope in a point, we can use the formula y equals mx plus b. Let's do some examples. Example 1. Find the equation of the line perpendicular to the line y equals 5x plus 1 that goes through the point negative 5, 2. So we need to find the new perpendicular line that is perpendicular to the original line that's given to us. We know that the line that's given to us goes through the y-axis or crosses the y-axis at 1. We also know that it has a slope of 5, which is the same as rise of 5, run of 1. The perpendicular line goes through negative 5, 2. So we know that our perpendicular equation of the line will be the opposite reciprocal of the slope. And we also know that we'll have a new y-intercept. At this point, we can take the values for x and y and plug them in for x and y in the equation of the line to find b. Notice that negative 5 is the same as negative 5 over 1, and when we multiply these together, we're going to get a positive 5 over 5, or 1. If I subtract 1 from both sides, I get b is equal to 1. So now the new equation of the line perpendicular to y equals 5x plus 1 is y equals negative 1 fifth x plus 1. So that's very interesting. Both lines cross the y-axis at 1, but they have negative or opposite reciprocal slopes. So that means if they had a y-axis, like this, they would both cross the y-axis at this point right here, but they would be perpendicular to each other. So 1 would be a rise of 5 and a run of 1, so it would look something like this, whereas the other one would have a rise of negative 1 and a run of 5. So it would look something like this. Next, in example 2, we need to find the equation of the line perpendicular to the line 3x plus 2y equals 5. Once again, this is not in slope-intercept form. It's in standard form. So we're going to subtract 3x from both sides. And we get 2y is equal to negative 3x plus 5. Divide by 2 on both sides. 
and we get y is equal to negative 3 halves x plus 5 halves. The perpendicular line that goes through a new point means that we have to flip this slope over and change its sign. So we're now going to have y equals positive 2 thirds x plus b. We now need to solve 4b by plugging in the two values for x and y. And we're given negative 4 is equal to 2 thirds times x, which is negative 3, plus b. Now we can solve for b. We get negative 4 is equal to negative 2 plus b. Adding 2 to both sides, we get b is equal to negative 2. Now that we have our new perpendicular slope and our new y-intercept, we can now rewrite the equation of the line in slope-intercept form for the perpendicular line. y equals 2 thirds x minus 2.